Hi everyone, welcome back to the craft room. Jean here, come on in. Uh, and this is week 23 um, of Jane's play, play along on a Saturday, Saturday play along. And this week we had to do um, red, white and blue. Very patriotic, wasn't it? <laughs> and we had to use glitter, bows and dyes. So what I used this time, I thought I'll make a card. A Christmas card uh, and what I did for the Father Christmas is I used a Sizzix die. Uh, now I've had this some years, I, th I think you can still get it, I'm not sure but I've had it years and it cuts out the Santa and his nose and um, a little piece for his bottle and then uh, and his, it also is like a, a 3D, you know, his, um, his moustache will stand up Oh, he's got a bit glued down because of dimensions, but yeah, his moustache will stand up. And um, and his little boots will come forward. And then, uh, what else? Well, his beard will, but I've stuck it down because he's on the card. But normally, what I do with this one, I, uh, I cut him out like that and colour him as I've done here. And then I put, uh, I make a box to go on the back of him so that it, it can stand up like that a tallish box and fill it with sweets and I sold loads of these on a craft fair um, it's coloured with pro marker poppy and do you know I'd recommend these to anybody I've had these years a collection I've got quite a lot and uh, they were packed away for oh how long were they packed away nearly six months in a, through the summer in a big container somewhere in a storage place and uh, didn't lose one of them, none of them dried up at all absolutely fantastic so what I used as well just to highlight him was a grey and that is uh, cool grey number four and then just an ordinary black for his belt and his boots and um, and then I did, I did it on a white card, uh, I backed it with a, layered it with a red, layered it with a blue and had some of these glitter snowflakes left over from when I used to do the craft fair. And the, for the ribbon I put this ribbon in, popped it round the card, there you can, you can just see it peeping out. And, uh, and instead of tying a bow I just did, did a knot on it which turned out quite good uh, so yeah so then on his um, uh, the snow on his hat and his fur and everything I just did with the grey light grey I just did the markings to make it look a little bit ruffled and then I went over it with Wink Estella um, and I thought that come out okay and it, this little piece here is supposed to be standing on a chimney top <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, and then, uh, as I say, I had this season's greeting left from um, from a couple of years back. So that's my take this this week, this year, I'm going to say. This week, um, and we no longer have to do the 6x6. Six six. We, we have to use the colours and what Jane pulls out, glitter bows and dyes. Um, um, but we can do it any size we want. We can make a box or decorate it. We can do anything as long as it's got these colours. And inside, uh, I've put uh, a poem, and um, it's uh, it's about the night before Christmas. Um, it's a bit long, but I'll, I'll have I'll have a go at reading it. You've probably heard it before, but it was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung at the chimney with care in the hope that St Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their bed while visions of sugar plums danced in their head. With mummy in her nighty and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn arose such a clatter and I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew in a flash to open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the crest of the new fallen snow gave the lustre of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. <laughs> 
with a little old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it was must be St Nick. Then up to the rooftops a reindeers did fly with a sleigh full of presents and St Nicholas too. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all covered with ashes and soot. His eyes, his eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses and his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. He had a plump face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. With a wink of his eye and a nod of his head, soon let me know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod at the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him shout out ere he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. And so I thought that was so cute. <laughs> so I'll pass this on to my grandson. <laughs> uh, as I said before, we don't do Christmas, but uh, these all are the things I did for our Christmas fairs. Uh, but I'll pass it on to my grandson and he can maybe send it to his other nana and granddad. So I hope you like that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the poem. <laughs> I hope you stayed with me through me reading it. So God bless to you all. Take care. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.